the Under the Hood series with Cisco DevNet. We're going to show you how we can use Cisco's APIs to learn, inspire, develop, and bring on new applications for uh, anybody to use within the Cisco environment. I'm here with Team Save the Day, which, by the way, is also the name of the application that won them the Presidio Atlanta Hackathon. So these great, smiling, dazed faces are a little still surprised that they won first place, but their application was pretty awesome. So I'm going to ask, what inspired you? to develop this particular application. Well, hearing the fact that it's it, it's able to send out calls, and the first thing I thought of was, oh god, I used to work in restaurants and have to send out a bunch of calls. And the fact that it took me away from work, and that just caused more issues, you know? Quick overview of well, what it is. Well, the basic overview of the application is the Save the Day app is going to allow business owners to not only keep their employees happy, but also keep the customers' days happy. So sometimes from time to time when a business owner comes to work, they have a lot of things going on. Sometimes employees may not show up to work. When that does happen with our Save the Day application, it calls the employees from a preset time when they're supposed to come to work to probably perform a phone call to see if they might come to work or not. And they simply with a text of a phone call with you can press one for yes or, or two for no. When the employee does not show up and presses two for no, it then sends a message to somewhat of a backup employee that gives that backup employee an opportunity to come in and take care of that shift. Then once a black employee indicates the same phone call that they have the opportunity to come in and save the day and have the opportunity to work, they press the number one key for yes. And at that point in time, um, the manager's notified that the employee is covered. The great thing about this application is not just the restaurant base, but they, uh, we're thinking outside the box as well. Um, distribution center, for example, Toys R Us. There's a distribution center out there, and that distribution center needs a forklift driver, and he has a huge set of um, shipment that needs to go out due to the holiday weekend. They're going to need that person to come in. We can actually generate um, applications in there to pre-screen people so the right people get the right phone call so that that person can show up there at Toys R Us pre-screen and ready to go to uh, really save the day. Yeah, I think uh, one, one, one of the applications is, uh, we were thinking about is like the unemployment uh, data. We can uh, tap into that and have uh, people who are really unemployed looking for a job can get temporary jobs through our application. They can sign up. And uh, if there, there's a business who's missing an employee, maybe they can fill in for a day. And then that way they can earn some money. So I think there are kind of applications for our application. And you guys used what APIs to? Develop this. So we, I mean, uh, so we started with Propo. We, we used the uh, like the calling feature and texting feature of Propo, um, and I, I think going forward we can uh, definitely use Spark and the proximity and things like that to make it our app to make it like more ubiquitous, right? It can be used by a lot of our clients and a lot of uh, different uh, verticals like healthcare and stuff like that. So we really see uh, great potential in that. Excellent. Thanks, guys, and congratulations again. Thanks for the invite. Appreciate it.